SS dogs and their SS chief. I remember looking outside and there was a heap, a big heap of corpses. Many of my friends were there. And the Germans were made to clear the corpses. And the inmates, the people who survived, were still capable of some kind of physical effort. They had to be restrained because there was murder in everybody. We were already left without any guards, but we were too exhausted and too weak to run anywhere. But they sent in American troops. When they saw the situation in the camp, where corpses were lying all over the place, dormitories and the corridors and the toilets and the yards everywhere. Uh, they surrounded the camp and whoever was still alive was put on a stretcher and taken to uh, an American hospital in Germany. We were given food but because I was so weak I could not take the food. I saved my life. Others who took could not digest and they became victims again and they died. One day, a friend of mine received a message that there was a camp in Italy of liberated boys and that her brother is dangerously ill, would she go there immediately? And I said, if you're going, I'll give you the name of my brother. And she went into this camp and the first boy she meets and she asked him, maybe you know somebody with this name, the sister is a person and she's looking for him, it's her brother. And that was a big problem. I had a dream that my grandfather came into my dream. It was so vivid, he asked me to go back to Hodge, and I stood up, started dressing, and I realized it was a dream. My friends tried to persuade me to stay. They said, there's no rush, wait. War is finished, we are the masters now, but I left. The realization of the loss hit me when I got back to Hodge because I hoped that my brother, who was, went to Russia, would return. I thought that my sister, who remained in Warsaw, would return. But perhaps those that I didn't see die would come back and life would begin again. But then uh, there was such a sense of being alone that it completely disorientated me. I didn't know what to do. The only thing I could think of was to go to Lodge and see whether I could recognize somebody who was in the ghetto or anywhere. And that's what I did. On the Saturday morning of, of March the 10th, they herded us into a bar. They bolted the doors and some of us panicked, some of the women.